And I have to go out and do an IFN mission tonight. I figured I probably ought to go work on these Wambana before they go away. And I'm like, well, if I'm going to go out hunting, I might as well make some content. And I realized I hadn't done a creature showcase on them. Or, for that matter, a creature showcase in a hell of a long time. So, tonight we're going to do one of those. Just cracked me open a nice fresh beer. And let's go over the Wambana. So they're here in the underground, first of all, y'all. And where we're going to hunt them is at the eastern wall here in the Arcadia Underground. But you can also hunt small ones over here at Fire Crystal. However, I'm here at the eastern wall because I want to go for stalkers. I'm lazy and I don't want to spend all day doing this challenge. So that's, that's honestly the truth. I just don't want it done fast. All right, let's go over the spreadsheet and see what the Wambana are all about. All right, here you can see we got the Wambana up here on the screen. This is what they are on the Wikipedia. It says the Wambana is indeed a strange creature. It's believed that they are poisonous to eat and as such have very little in way of defense. I have been scientists theorized that the brain may be exposed as some sort of sexual display with the large bulbous brain being attractive to the opposite sex. Be wary of the acidic sting from its tongue. Cool. So right there it sounds like Wambana are going to be a good setup for Viceroy. Like the Arcadia devs, yet again, planned ahead for a little bit on their creatures and added some acid onto this one. Hell yeah. That's a good call. 26% acid, it looks like. Nice. So that's a good set. That's a good damage right there for Viceroy, for sure. See the Youngs have 440 HP. I'm going to go for Stalkers. They have 780. And they'll do 71 damage distributed in these increments of Acid 26%, Impact 44%, and Stab th or, yeah, stab 30%. So yeah, like I said, really good setup for Viceroy. Also, there's IFN challenges, but these are basically going away. I'm trying to finish up my Stage 3. So if y'all don't have these challenges, I don't think you can go and pick them up right now. But I'm working on Stage 3. Thinking about getting this heavy heavy melee weapons reward, even though I've never really used melee. I figured maybe at least it's a boost, and I might as well get it done. Down here, let's see if they can drop anything useful. Or at least have lately. Let's check that out real fast. I probably should have had that set up and ready to go, but I didn't. My apologies. And uh, No one's really reported any items on them. An arsenic chip. Something else. But... I'm after them because I hear they can just they can drop the nanites for the viceroy to make it adjusted and I think perfected something like that. But I hear the underground creatures, including these wambana, can drop the nanites that I may eventually want to upgrade my viceroy. So hopefully get two birds stoned at once. Come out here, go for a hunt, work for some nanites, and make some content with y'all. And we'll go out and put the hurting on these things because I kind of like the wambana. They're they're interesting. They're definitely one of the strangest creatures I've ever seen in the game. So, let's go check them out. Gonna toss on the old vice, but tonight we won't need plates. So, we'll go kill him with that. And I took my bigger amp off my gun. I took the Armatrix L23B. I'm gonna save that for, like, hunting at Corum Coast, because I could just kill these with the A103 on my LR30. So... Let's try to get some points. Over here you can see I got the Wambana challenge. Working on that sucker too. And our kill point thing. So let's see how fast we can get that to go up. It would be nice to get some progress. Or even better. To get a global and share that with y'all tonight. Would be amazing. Oh crap. He still hits for 22. I mean I guess it is a stalker. I guess that's good. That means I'm not super over armored for him. Uh, first one dropped a pet, maybe close to like 1.3 pet. Shit, I totally didn't. I totally forgot to ask earlier. I hope y'all are having a great night and everything is well for you out here in our virtual universe. I'm actually enjoying myself, not too bad. Come home for work, 
pet the dog and the cat, relax for a bit. Gonna have some time with y'all, hunt a creature, and uh, possibly eat some dinner and hang out with my wife in a little while. But gotta come on here and play the old content, make something, put something on the internet, you know? That old shindig. Because I think at the end of the day, we definitely all need to do our share to promote Entropy Universe. There's not enough stuff out there about it. So if you can... Anyone out there listening, man, take it upon yourself if you want to do your own thing, too. Make your own channel. Hunt, mine, share your experiences. All the better. If we can make another player or two come and experience our universe and find the beauty in it also, that's what this is about. I may lose some pets, I may not. But, oh, you know what? I forgot to say, but we went out with 140 pets. Speaking of losing, uh, losing pets, we went out with about 143 in universal ammo. So, let's see what we can get. Lose or not, you, you don't know. Oh, treasure map. Oh, boy. Treasure map five. Oh, and that one, by the way, before that was not quite a ped. And this one was about half the last one I just killed, too. So we're not really dropping yet. But time will tell, I suppose. Uh, another map. Yay. And not a pet again. I wonder what it would take to swirl on these. If they can do it at like, you know, less than 50. I'm unaware. Maybe we'll find out. I don't think I've ever globaled on Wambana. Interesting. And I definitely spent my time putting the hurting on him back in the day, that's for sure. I guess just in case I pull a stalker again, I'll heal myself. Well, see? I mean, just like I said. I don't want to use the expensive fat. Might as well use the cheapo. My thing about being out here is that y'all can see like the tax is just slightly high. Even even myself as a landowner, I think five percent's a little steep. I'm sitting at like three point nine, and I feel kind of bad. I'm thinking about still going down to three. So five percent that. But I mean, I guess they have the items worth it, and it doesn't really matter. I'm out here anyway. If you think about it, a 5% actually is what keeps you from winning or completely losing in this game, then you got more problems overall, because I guess 5% adds up, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not accumulating for that other 95%, you know? That's where the huge loss is. And hopefully we'll get like a nanite, and uh, it wouldn't really matter. But... Even if we are getting taxed, at least we're giving back to people that have underground deeds. Giving back to other players that potentially play the game. And probably a few fat cats who don't that are just squatting on the deeds for profit. But some of what I'm giving could go to someone who needs it so that they can drop some probes too. And that's awesome. I'll come here for that. Someone else invested in something and believes in it in this game? Dude, I'll come. I will come. Be nice to get a something more decent. That last one was almost a pad and a half. Twenty thousand on the old eye offense, Dave. 
I think I'm getting like 10 to 14 per kill, maybe more, but uh, still going to be quite a few. Let's see, we're at 1844, we just pulled an old alpha. How many points are we going to get? Yeah, 15. Ooh, and we got some skins. What does a Wambana skin look like? Eh. I mean, if you want to, like, you know, make your clothes look like it's, like, the surface of Mars or some shit. There you go. I like a little more flair myself. Hey, they're starting to drop about a pet or more each, so we're getting up there. This could mean that we could get, you know, there could be something here. It could be. I did say last night when I was mining and lost my ass again that I wasn't going to mine the underground for a while, so that's still active. I am still not dropping probes down here. I apologize for all you people with deeds, but I will hunt. I am not going to mine. Learning a lesson there. figure if I just stay away for a while, then I'll at least feel better about coming down here again. <laughs> mind it. Huh. Yeah, that one was like two pets. 2.1. So, cool. It looks like we spent about 50 so far. Eh, that one was about slightly over half. That one was like 60 pack. I think if I do loot some nanites, I'm not going to sell them. I want to keep them for myself. I really need to upgrade my Viceroy. And I probably ought to do it for cheap versus expensively. Because I have also kept some bismuth to the side from mining Corum Coast. Because it seems like an alright place for that. I mean, you don't find it all the time because it's a rare resource. But, dude, I find bismuth on my land and I can deal with that. Because I need it, you know? It's kind of cool. Sometimes I wish my land had growth molecules. Holy shit, that helped me out a lot too. But, hey, it is what it is. Probably one of the only people out there you'll ever see that wishes they had growth molecules on their land so that they can mine it up themselves, at least. Ooh, that one was like three pets? Shit. Man, okay. You little brain things are gonna feed one out, are ya? With your crazy tongue and whatever going on. Kinda wish I had a third beer. Tragic. What did, he dropped one animal eye oil. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Hey, hey. Graphene polymer. I don't know what that is, but that one was like six or seven peds. What the hell item is that? Is it worth anything? Hundred and thirty eight percent, huh? Interesting. Cool. 
Sorry about the cat, y'all. She's coming to say hi again, I guess. Seems to be her thing is to wait around until I'm trying to make a video. I know. Hey, one of those was like a three petter, I think. Nice. Too terrible. You know, if you're like a, a low level player and you're you're getting to the point where you don't want to hunt like you're not big enough for Aatrox, but you're kind of ready for like some Argonaut Youngs kinda maybe Argonaut Scout. You could also potentially think about coming out here and hunting some small Wombana. So that's probably about the scale I'd put them on on Arcadia level in relation to what you'd hunt on Calypso, I guess. They're probably... Even the strong ones here, you know, they're like a mid-maturity Argonaut. Or lower mid, yeah. So, no problem for most people to come and kill these after they're off their diapers, I guess. Figure out what you're doing and what gun you're going to hold in your hand or sword or whatever. Give yourself a couple weeks and you should be able to kill a Wombana. Try to get yourself at a, a Nanite also. If possible. Looks like our Armatrix LR30 is going to break soon. Cool. I ended up buying a spare anyway when I had to fly to Calypso. Thought I might as well make the trip worth something and bought a gun. At least we have a spare. Sad thing is, is I'm maxed on this, but the LR35 still just isn't efficient to use. Like the damage is off. Like the hit, man, I can hit, but damage is just, it's way under. Apologize about the cat yet again. <laughs> Come on, let's see, like a, a tin pad maybe would be cool. That would be cool. On second thought, after like murdering a bunch of these, I may not end up finishing this IFN. I'm not sure. We'll have to see how fast it goes. Because I don't know if I'm going to come and hunt these again for maybe a day or two, depending on what I got with work and other things coming down the pipe for Quorum Coast. I'll have to juggle this hunt in again. Ah. I bet if I was dedicated and I. I like focus my day off on it. I could probably wipe this out. I don't know if I'll really benefit from that heavy melee. But I just like to complete things. And this one seemed like it would be faster than I think it turned out to. When I was originally looking at it and I was like, oh yeah, the kill points, you know, it's not like you have to kill like a thousand of them individually, they each add up to like 18 points each or something, blah blah blah, that'll be no problem. Yeah, well, it's like 20,000 points, so you're still killing a thousand of the bastards. So, there's that. They just judge the math differently. <laughs> Let's get healed up. Say hi to that one. It's another stalker. I have often wondered why they determine the names for maturities in this game. It's interesting. I understand like young, mature, old, but then like provider, okay, I guess you're providing things. Guardian, okay, you guard the area, and then you have a, a dominant, and I'm like, oh, okay. 
Ooh, there's a ten petter, and we didn't global. So there we learned that. Ten peds won't get you one here. But then you have a dominant, right? So it dominates the others. Okay, that one sounds strong. Alpha. Well, okay, so Alpha's better than that. Old Alpha. Will this he be tiring? Is it stronger? Because, like, now it sounds like it's an old man. And then you have Prowler, which sounds like some creepy dude that, like, you know, would be outside the woman's restroom in the middle of the night prowling around. And then you have Stalker, which honestly doesn't sound any better now that I think about it. Both of them sound terrible. They don't necessarily sound like, oh, that creature's strong. It sounds like, oh, man, I need to walk fast to my car. But I don't know. I guess it means they're tough on here. I mean, don't get me wrong. If someone said, hey, there's a Stalker or a Prowler, I'd be like, oh, shit. I wouldn't hang around, you know? So maybe that's what they were going for. Makes sense. That ten ped was nice. I I could go for another thing like that. That would be cool. Or uh, like a zero on there would be even better. I would dig that. How much ped we got left? Uh, 43? I almost thought about cycling ammo, but we'll have to do a, a quick judge as to what we got before we do that to see if we want to. Let's see, have we even got like 100 peds back? I try to do a little quick math. And 46. But we're not terribly off, I guess. I think we got close to like maybe 85 to 90 pet return on our 100 pet ammo. So that means decay we're, we're screwed on. But that's typical. You're always going to lose something. That's fine. It'll only take one good hit to make it all up. So I may end up cycling our shrapnel and going again. Would you give us another 40 pets? Yeah. I may roll that with y'all. Just extend the hunt before I go and have dinner. I'm not cooking tonight anyway. It's another leftover night, so no rush there. Still got me some lima beans and ham I need to wipe out. I'm gonna do that. I don't know if that's anything y'all ever tried, man, but you cook some lima beans with a little bit of ham or some salt pork in a crock pot. And then you can put that in like tortillas and make your own like bean and cheeses out of that too. Oh dude. Pretty good. And it's cheap as hell. Like if y'all are looking for a meal to stretch the budget. Shit, yeah. That'll do it. You know, because more money saved in the real world, y'all, is <laughs> more ped to spend. <laughs> Let's face it. I definitely remember, like, way back in the day, you know, being young and trying to figure out how to justify costs when I was in college. That was fun times. Because my, my justification for spending, like, you know, a little bit of money now and then on some herbal pleasure versus going out and buying, like, real healthy food was, like, man, if I had, like, an eighth of weed, I could eat ramen noodles and not care about it. <laughs> you know, because, like, you would just get hungry enough to eat it. And so it, it seemed like you'd have everything then. You know, like, you'd be covered. 
matter what you eat, you'd have the munchies. You'd be high as shit. Ramen noodles would be great. Probably not great nutrition for you, but it got you through. Through that. That went on a little bit over a pet again. Two pets almost. I think if they globaled, we'd actually probably profit overall. That would be nice. Since they haven't looted too shittily. Too quite shittily. Let me phrase that. Like it's 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 not good, but there's been worse. Like, if any of y'all tuned in to the last episode of Mankini Mining, holy Jesus. Dude, they bent me over the couch and stuck it in without even letting you know they were going to do it. My god. 36, or 32% or so return. If you don't even, like, oh, man. Like, not even counting decay. So... Decay, I'm definitely sitting like 20, 25% return on that run because I used the different finder. Yeah. That's how the old underground learned to strike for mining. Not their fault, I guess. I probably shouldn't have come down here. Could have also been my choice. Don't get me wrong. But it was bad. And it was like one of the worst runs I've ever had in this place that is really bad most of the time. So, yeah. But if any of y'all are watching, I'm not saying don't mind the underground. Just be careful. You know? Gotta know when to roll them. Or hold them, I guess. Fold them. Whatever the fuck that thing is. But know, know when to do that stuff. And make sure you do that on here. Because that's a big thing on Entropia. Don't spend more than you can afford to lose. And if you are losing doing the same thing often, change your shit up. You're going somewhere and like, man, every time I go out and do that, it's just painful. Why go out and do that? So, hell yeah. Gonna do some surface mining. Try to stay away from mining indoors. Kind of high risk stuff. And just mine on the surface for a while. It would be really healing, I think, for me. For a little bit. Oh, that one was like a three petter. Hell yeah. What? Oh, for a second, I thought the gun broke. Oh, it did break. Let me fix that. Detach attachments. Put all that shit on this one. Whip. And onwards to more pain for these things. Let's get a couple more. Did it really decay that much on that amp though? Because I repaired that bastard before this hunt. Oh no, it seriously does. Because it's like two pack a shot. You are a spicy meatball, A103. I hope you're worth it. I hope you're worth it. So... We are actually... Oh, yeah. Well, let's not look at Decay, okay? Because Decay is going to get us down. Going to make us... Going to make us sad. So we'll... Oh, shit! 52 Petter! Nice! And... I think I snagged a screenshot of that. So we can... Have ourselves a screenshot for the um shit. I'm excited. I globaled, so <laughs> so we can have a screenshot for the creature showcase. Hell yeah, nice to see Mr. Epic send me a message, congrats on me. 
That's pretty cool. He seems to be an alright guy so far. Uh, like a, a player from Entropia from a while ago that's trying to get back in the game. I missed a couple things, so been talking to him off and on, trying to lead him down the right path with all the changes and sharing whatever knowledge that I can help him with from what I've learned in this game. Maybe he can save a couple peds and whatnot or do something smarter than I did. It's kind of the overall goal. That would be cool. Pass down a little bit of helpful, helpful shit to somebody. And why did it not take that gun? Oh, that's the problem. It's not that. It's... <laughs> I'm high. Alright, convert to ammo. Oh, man. Damn you, beer. And continue on the murder spree. Since we globaled, we'll just keep rolling. Let's kill some more. Since I realized I ran out of ammo, had to convert. We should be good. Got what a hundred pets, I think. To go again. Oh yeah. Cool. We'll extend the showcase out a little bit, if y'all don't mind. We'll hunt a bit more. Cause it was kind of nice to hit a little swirl there. And I think that was all strap too, wasn't it? Yes, it totally was. Using our potential payback to break even, or a slight profit on going again. That's the Entropia life, y'all. Shoot some more of the bastards. <laughs> yeah, 1.2 peds. Oh, did I never even say what our global was? Oh shit, it's 52. In case y'all missed it, and I didn't say it because I was excited when it happened. We hit 52 Wombana Prowler. Hell yeah. Sometimes you get like kind of stunned and shocked that you, you globaled, but you're like, man, I managed to hit print screen in time just out of reflex before I even realized how much it was or what was in the loot. You're just like, ah, print screen, get a picture. Save the moment. I'm getting a lot of maps. Fuck. I got a lot of maps. Hopefully they fix them at one point. Make them worth kind of doing. Because I heard the returns are capped on that. And that's no good. I think it's like 80% or something like that. Like, eh. Ouch. And we got 90 peds of ammo left. Is our amp going to hold up the whole time? Uh, maybe. The ant may do it. The ant may hang in there. That'll be cool. If not, we'll strap the other one on for the last little bit. And murder the couple more. Cool. And I got an IFN challenge finished. Or, I mean, not challenge, IFN, but a, a Wambana challenge was finished for Codex. That's cool. Get a little Codex out here. But yeah, they're actually not a bad mob for Viceroy at all, everyone. I'm not hunting with any plates in here. I'm going for Prowlers. I don't have a huge gun. I'm not a very high level hunter. You know, I just. 
I guess I'm like a uh, part-time hunter, so to speak, you know? And I can come out and do it. It's not a bad mob for other people, maybe. Come on out and try to get your chance at some nanites. Maybe win some profit that way. Who knows? I'm not really seeing a lot of other things dropping that are worth money. But the graphene was cool. Some socket twos. The maps are like garbage. Won't bother hide. Apparently, no one really wants that. That is what it is. Some paint. I dropped some paint. Ooh, that one was. Well, that one was almost five pet. It was like a little over four. Cool. Someone else is down here hunting at the underground. Congrats to y'all on your little squirrel there. Hell yeah. Always nice to get a globally globes. Quick heal. And more money. I think I need to upgrade my rings too. I got this Ares ring. I get run speed off of it, which I guess is alright. Then I also have increased regeneration and health and 12 more hit points, which I guess helps me as a hunter. But I wonder if I need to get an Ares ring though and switch one of those out for reload. I'll probably get rid of the Hermes. Even though I like that from mining, I'll probably just switch rings when I hunt kind of thing. Because I think I need the reload speed would help me be more efficient, slightly. Seven ammo? Yep. Ooh, is that some makeup remover? I haven't looted that in a little bit. Is there a markup on any of that? 300%, huh? Cool. I know some employees at work that wear too much makeup, man. Maybe you'd be spending a fortune on makeup remover then at 300%. Fucking A. Might as well just get a putty knife. Spitting out another one. Show me some more love. It'd be cool if you were the creature to give me my first hunting hawk. Huh? That would be nice. Give me the old offer really. Wouldn't complain. Tell you what, I definitely finished the damn IFN on y'all. You spit a good one out. Fucking murder one bonnet forever. A little over two ped there. I guess we're getting all right skills too. I mean, look at the skills bumping up. That's nice. One point two ped. Let's see where we're at here. Shit. 
Gained a few points on skinning, hell yeah, animal. I'll take it. Supposedly that's what everyone gets their dicks hard about these days is the animal looter. You gotta get up your looter professions, they say. High efficiency guns and then looter profession. So they all want to make it anywhere, I guess that's the way to do it. Optimal loot. I guess I can't be greedy to want another global. That's fucked up. I got one and I should be happy. Having one to share with y'all was pretty lucky of me anyway. I should be pleased with that. Now does that boost down a little decoy dispenser? No, oh, I want to see. What is it not on there now? Maybe make fun. Well. I guess. Well, there's that then. Got 40 more pets. Let's see them spit it out. Kind of crazy you can spend 40 pets and it's like not even 300 shots. Like, damn. It's expensive to shoot. Like you think, oh man, I'm gonna spend like four dollars in virtual currency on a game tonight and hunt some stuff. You think you'd have like a couple thousand shots, you know? Nope. Four dollars in kitchen, not even three hundred shots. Hell yeah. And I don't even hunt high. I could hunt way higher level shit, bigger guns and all that. Spend way more. Crazy. Two hundred shots left. Oh, those are nice plates. Let's pen that shit and compare that to my five B, cause. He's got 12 impact there, but man, he's got 8. 
Stab, I got to beat on stab. But I also got you to beat, but that acid. Damn, that acid's a good fit on Vice Wear. That's a nice fit. That one was three pet. How much would it cost for one of those different potatoes? I may end up wanting some of that down the road. Oh, plus nine? That's not bad. That's not a bad price for some plates like that. That's good. We got 100 shots or so. Nothing good for a while. Should not have converted that ammo. Should have just left. Oh well, we'll get a couple more here, and then we'll teleport in and see what our profit and losses are for the hunt. And uh, well, let's not use the word profit. Not get ahead of our fucking selves there. Let's be real. We'll see what our losses are for the hunt.
That killed one in the rock there. 23 shots left. I guess this would be the last creature. That was the last one there. And we'll teleport in and see what we got. Well, let's see what we got. Let's toss in the old armor here. Let's calculate losses first. Armor, huh? 1.4 pads, weapons, so 28 without the decay on the rifles, because, I mean, yeah, you know, I don't really want to really look at that either. So, we've got with 140, so we need to come back with 170, roughly, let's say. It's just hitting the 170 mark would be nice. All right, well, that's good. Let's see. Well, I guess I lost like 40 peds or more, 50 peds. But I made a video for y'all, and that's fun. Hopefully some of y'all see it. Hopefully some of y'all come out and enjoy yourself, or at least don't do what I did and stop when you're ahead. No one to hold them. No one to fold them or whatever the fuck that is. So, thank you all for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate help growing the channel. But also, please, for sure, come out and visit Corum Coast. Got a lot of great things coming out of the pipeline for that land down the road. And it's a fun place to be. So, come on out to Corum Coast, where you can earn the most. Thank you again.